Zach, thank you. We have new details this afternoon on Wisconsin's voter ID law. The law will not be in effect for the spring election that's just two weeks away, but it will be for elections after that. Now, this all comes after the U.S. Supreme Court decided not to hear a lawsuit lifting the hold that's been on the law since 2012. NBC 15's Kate Pavish joins us now live from downtown Madison to explain what this means for Wisconsin voters. Hi, Kate. Hey, Lee, help us get the word out is the request we got today here from the Government Accountability Board. Now, they want us to help make sure that every voter knows that come April 7th, they don't need ID to cast their ballot, but every other election after that, you're going to need a photo ID to vote in the Badger State. If there's a problem with our election, it sure isn't that there are too many people voting in our elections. The problem is that not enough people are voting. It's a Republican-backed law that was passed in 2011 and has been fighting its way through the courts since then. Opponents saying it takes away voting rights of 300,000 voters who don't have the proper form of ID, calling it a solution to a problem that doesn't exist. There have been no cases uh, of voter impersonation, and that is the only kind of illegal voting that a, a voter ID law could possibly prevent. But now the United States Supreme Court has weighed in by not weighing in, declining to hear the case, leaving the lower courts ruling that the law is legal in place, allowing the state to enforce it this morning. I think there's no question we see this as final. With only 15 days until the spring election, Attorney General Brad Schimmel deciding the law won't take effect until after that election. Kevin Kennedy with the Government Accountability Board saying there just wasn't time. Realistically, you could not implement this even if everything happened as fast as we thought it could. Meanwhile, groups like the League of Women Voters are getting to work. We'll be doing everything we can so that um, every qualified citizen has the, has the right and the opportunity to uh, cast a ballot, have a voice in an election, and have it counted. And although the next statewide election isn't until next February, the GAB does expect two to three special elections to pop up before the end of the year where this law will come into play. Reporting live in Madison, Kate Pavish, NBC 15 News.